What's up everybody? Todd here again with Gunpla TV brought to you by Hobby Link Japan and we're going to do another review. Now it's been a little while since I have taken a look at something, well not something from Kotobuki. I've done a number of Kotobuki kits recently but something from the Hexagear line of Kotobuki kits. So I saw this one pop up in stock just the other day and of course, you can see just how large that box is behind the kit as it rotates around here. I, If you've watched my videos for some time, you kind of know, maybe remember that by now that I do have a little bit of a thing for more bulky and the big type of mobile suits, and this guy definitely fits that bill. Now, although this box is, let me go ahead and push the kit out of the way here for a second. Now, even though this box is quite large quite big you can see how thick it is here on the side and actually this is a good time to check out the images it has on the side of the box showing you some of the articulation you can do with that arm there as well as a nice little hovercraft and how you can actually suit one of, or put one of those what do they call it the governors little tiny figures you can put a governor on the inside of the suit but we'll take a look at that in a second here Kind of interesting, interesting thing. Shows the parts, some of the parts, and some information. Unlike the Gundam boxes, however, there you can see my reflection on that box too. I'm going to wave to the camera here. Even though, or unlike the Gundam boxes, which have dual English and Japanese on them these days, Kotobukiya has not gotten into that trend. They're still primarily focused on the Japanese market, so the boxes are just completely written in Japanese, except I guess, well, the name at least is in English. And it also does mention, up here in the corner, it has uh, who did the artwork, the character design, all that inf nice, fun jazz. So, all right, so what I was mentioning about the big box, even though this kit does come in a nice big box, the kit itself actually did not take me a whole lot of time to put together. Now I spent in total around, I would say just about four hours. I think I started around eight o'clock and I was done by midnight. So not too long and all things considered, I would have to say definitely not more difficult than an HG Gundam kit. So if you're worried about this being more difficult or tricky to build that is definitely not the case quite a nice simple build and once you get it all put together i do have to say it looks quite nice so nice bulky suit and one of the things one of the things that also really drew me to wanting to build this kit and once i saw that i really really just had to had to build this guy was another thing i have a thing for is like I don't really like those high mobile suits with like a stiletto high heel type of look that on the shoes that they go for these days and definitely you can say the feet on this suit is something that is extremely unique and they also have a second feature which we'll take a look at we saw that on a box there a little bit but yeah let's go ahead and start taking a closer look at this guy and we'll start off down here with his feet because that's right his feet they're not just normal feet they are actually kind of hovercraft like those floaty type of boat things with the rubber bottoms and they use a and there it is they have a fan on the inside as well and this is molded in a separate color and you can actually spin it around by hand so that is kind of a, a cool look to this one so definitely he's got some actual 100 percent real boat shoes which is probably the first time i've ever seen that on a on a model kit and we can see there's the fan the fans for the fan ducts on the back here as well and this is this part is articulated so you can actually swing it left and right and i would be able to if i could squeeze my finger on the inside there which i can't do because it's a bit thin but that fan or the the propeller on the inside actually you'd be able to spin that around too if you were able to get your finger in there if you really were dying to do that so that is kind of cool i really just dug the look of these things it's just really really unique and quite interesting but also due to how bulky this thing is you're not really going to expect to get a whole lot of articulation out of it to be honest i mean coming off of the review of that g40 kit where i actually spent 
40 minutes on the entire video for that thing and a lot of that was just trying to cover as much of that articulation as possible there's not really a whole lot to this guy i mean he his foot can go left and right there that's not too bad it can go up and down and he does have a knee here which is is kind of double jointed there so actually it's a bit more impressive than i would imagine for being so large so that's not too not too shabby at all whoops and my foot came off just now here you can kind of see because it is hexagear so a lot of the connecting points on this kit use that hexagon shape so that's what holds it into place and here on the boat you can see that this peg to hold it onto the leg was another hexagon style connector so let's go ahead and see if i can get this plugged back in okay so yep he's got a nice knee joint there now the hip joint as well it's kind of actually pretty decent given the bulk of this guy you can go straight out as well as rotate it around as much as you can you know but as you can see right now it just happened on me now this kind of happens especially on some of the heavier kotobukiya stuff i've seen on my zoid kits as well just the polycap because kotobukiya they still use unlike bandai which has kind of transitioned away from a lot of from using polycaps kind of as much as possible kotobuki is still you still get uh, a number of polycaps that you'll have to use on their kits and due to being heavy and having the polycaps they kind of up oh, just kind of well there you go yeah he just kind of it just falls on its own doesn't really hold that sturdy but it is what it is and he can stand on his own so that is great all right so for the torso here the hip at least it can rotate left and right that is not too bad although there's no other movement at all for the center section of this guy just being able to turn it left or right however you want now the head the head for this guy is really kind of buried on the inside of there. And we'll kind of talk about the head a, a little bit more in a little bit. We'll continue to take a look at the articulation for this guy first, though. And there his, his thing popping off. Now, this waist section here, this is also held on by one of those hexagonal-shaped connectors. But the legs, because there's so much plastic to them, they are kind of a bit heavy, so they will maybe fall off like you just saw it happen to me so all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the arm so the arm kind of has this cool swivel type of joint for that shoulder there which connects it to the body so that gives you a extra bit of forward range if you really wanted to stretch this out as far as possible and the shoulder joint as well so it does have like a shoulder pad to it but the shoulder pad also is kind of connected to a joint on its own so it's able to stretch out of the way to get out of the way of the arm and once you get that out of the way of the arm then you are able to kind of move this arm around a bit as much as you want so pretty actually even though it is large it is a pretty decent range of movement here for this arm i do believe as well as the hand here the hand has the ability to rotate around here and the fingers actually the thumb the thumb can rotate up and down and the rest of the fingers this is they are connected together so you are just able to move them all at once so not too bad not too bad at all given the bulk of this guy so that's kind of cool how that joint kind of slides out to give you that extra range of movement oh there goes my waist again all right so Let's take a look. So I mentioned that head here and I wanted to show off what this kit comes with. So I went ahead and I have installed, maybe I should just get this out of the way so you can get a better look at that head there. So I went ahead and I put this head on the unit, but this one actually has, and now this was a cool feature I thought because usually on a Gundam kit, if there's like different options for the heads, Maybe it's like a different faceplate, but you have to use the other parts for the head so you only can build one or the other. And if you wanted to have one of the other options, you would have to take the entire thing apart and then you would have to reassemble it. But that was not the case with this guy. He has a three different head options and they give you the 
all the parts that you need to completely build the three different head units. So this was a really, really nice feature. I, I felt you can see it kind of has a cool look and a cool look to some of these. I, I like that clear orange plastic on this one. This one also has a pretty, pretty decent cool look to it. I went ahead and I went with this head. Maybe I can pop this one off. I think it's funny, the parts that I don't want to pop off are the ones that easily pop off, but when I do want to get something off, that's going to be the most difficult part to pull off there. All right, so let's go ahead and take off this other one so we can get a better, closer look at that. This one also had some of the, the, the lighting maybe not working well too well with me here. This one also had some clear orange eye pieces on the inside, so... There you have it, three different head options for this guy here. Oh, you know, I just realized, I've started this review, but I don't even think I've said what the name of this kit was. Ha! I'm getting way too ahead of myself on this guy. All right, so yeah, by the way, this Hexagear kit is called the Bulk Arm Lumberjack. So there you go, Bulk Arm. Now, Kotobukiya, there's also a, a number other a number of other Hexagear bulk arm kits, it looks like. There's a white one that was released previously, which actually on the site right now is open again for orders as a reissue, which I believe is due out in February. So bulk arm, that was the name of it. Although, even though I didn't say it at the beginning of the video, hopefully you saw that there on the box as I was showing that one off. So I'm going to go ahead and put this head back on. Now... Let's talk about this too now that I have this open. You can see with this open, originally when I had this, when I was showing this off originally, it was in more of its mobile suit type of uh, look, mobile suit type of position. There you go. But once you get this closed, so yeah, that's it looks like a, just a normal type of Gundam type of mobile suit. But because this is Hexagear and it has those governor type of figures, you are able to open this up here and that's going to reveal a full-on cockpit on the inside and this part is going to open up as well and this is where they're going to have like their their just the the, the, the dig digital displays that are going to display all the combat information and what have you and then on the inside here you can see down at the bottom there's going to be the pedals, which looks more like an airplane aircraft type of pedal position than it would be a car. You also have two control levers on the left and right, and this is where the governor is going to sit. Now, I don't actually have a governor with me because it has been quite some time since I have built... Uh, I built one of those governors when Hexagear Line first started. That was, gosh, how many... Two years ago has it been? It's been quite some time. So. Actually, I've got one of my small little uh, Build Diver Rise kits, and that it looks just about the same size as a governor. So bear with me here for a second. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can squeeze in this tiny little Gundam and use it as a governor. All right, so now I've got my Gundam governor, kind of. He actually was a little bit of a tight fit, but these little tiny, the tiny versions of these new Build Diver Rise kits are just about the same size as one of those governor kits from Kotobukiya, so he barely can fit in there. So now I've got a little mini Gundam piloting one of these giant Hexagear kits, so that is something that's quite interesting, I say. Actually, I kind of, I think I prefer that to the governors myself. That looks kind of cool how he's just squeezed on, squeezed in there on the inside. So, yeah, if you want to build, if you want to buy the Governors, go ahead and search our site, the Hexagear. If you search for Hexagear or just type in the Governor, then those kits should also pop up in the search box. So, there you have that. All right, so let's take a look at some of the other stuff that does come with this kit. And we'll take a look at the sword, because I thought this sword was quite cool as well. And right now it is in the closed position, but you are able to open up the handle here and you're going to kind of get a proper style of sword. And he will be able to open up these hands and grip the sword. And to grip the sword, actually, they give you this piece here in the box, which you'll be able to connect onto the hand, which should allow you also to get a better grip on this thing so it actually holds without falling out so that is a nice feature because this sword is actually kind of heavy and i'm not sure if that hand would be able to really hold it well otherwise so 
There is that. That's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at one of the other cool features that you can do with this kit. And that is going to be here with the feet. So you, if you saw that the pictures on the side of the box earlier, you saw that you should be able to disconnect the foot here. And we're going to be able to turn this foot into a tiny hovercraft. So give me a second here as I prepare this in the hovercraft mode. All right, so now I have one of the feet. I'm not gonna go ahead and pull off the other one. We have one of the feet here set up in hovercraft mode, and I again have my little mini Gundam set up in place of a governor. Now in this position, you can actually tell that the little mini Gundam is just a tiny bit bigger, or at least maybe not as flexible as what you would expect to have with the actual governor kit. His legs were just a bit too long to be able to position correctly on the little foot peg there, but his hands actually fit onto the little handbars, so I mean he actually can fit on and ride this thing, which is kind of cool looking, I have to say. It's a bit of a funny, bit of a silly thing, but it is what it is. Kind of cool. So there you have it. That is going to be it for the... And this thing, I'm going to go ahead and close it up. He's missing a foot, but we can kind of say goodbye to him here. All right, so that's going to be it for the bulk arm lumberjack hexagear kit from Kotobukiya. So it is a really cool looking kit. I do love that bulkiness. And I also love just how fun these the the feet are actually on this thing it's he's got actual hovercraft for feet just how often do you see that it's not stilettos it's not high heels it's hovercraft so he can float around isn't that just awesome so as i am making this video he's actually still available on for order on our site him or one of the other the other bulk arm, the white one, I think that one is still open for pre-order, so it's kind of cool kit. I'll see if we can link both of these bulk arm kits here on at the bottom of this video. If you're interested in this guy, get your order in because once he is gone, I'm not too sure when exactly Kotobukiya will issue a reissue. So we'll just have to wait and see. But a cool kit, not difficult at all to build, and it looks really, really cool. And again, I just want to mention those feet, which are just awesome. And if you are interested in these tiny little Gundam kits here, they are from the new Build Gundam Build Divers Rewrite series as well. So maybe if I can remember, we'll link him in the description below as well. All right, so everyone out there, thank you very much for watching. And I should hopefully be back with another review of the Master Grade Barbatos, which just came out here in Japan just today. So thanks again, and we'll see you soon.